All right, we're recording. Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube? You know what I'm saying? You know, I know this is a different style of video. I pretty much just wanted to like get on here and just like, you know, no, no, no shower yet. And you know what I'm saying? No, uh, no fucking uh, hat or anything. Just straight raw. Got my Genelec shirt. I guess it's this way. I don't know. I got my Genelec shirt. You know what I'm saying? Rocking it. Um, but anyways, like, yeah, you know, also let me know, like, if this, if this video pops off, like, you know, let me know if you like this style, because there's plenty of more topics that I want to, um, talk about, like, you know, one-to-one -one with my viewers and stuff. Uh, I feel like there, like I said, I feel like there's plenty of content that hasn't been made yet. For a really long time, like, I felt super weird about starting a YouTube channel, specifically, well, just in general, but also just like as somebody that's in the audio world. Anyways, before we get any farther into this topic, um, please subscribe. You know, a lot of you still aren't subscribed. I know I've been saying that in my last few videos, but now it's jumped up to like, I think like I have like a thousand returning viewers, but like I don't have a thousand subs. So hit that subscribe button. Also, I have an Amazon store now. I know I'm becoming the, the YouTube links person. You know, I don't have that Sweetwater deal yet, but I also wouldn't mind trying to start like an Amazon thing instead of using Sweetwater exclusively. Amazon, if you're, if you're watching this, I got a, I got a new uh, lane for y'all, you know what I'm saying, the music stuff, and you know, they have access to a bunch of music stuff, so anyways, um, all the links of the current gear that I use, or current gear that I have used, um, are in the video description below, so definitely go check those out. Is it necessary, or am I like a fraud, basically, you know what I'm saying, because I feel like that's like the big thing right now, is like, it seems like everybody feels weird about starting YouTube channels, but then at the same time, there's like a lot of people in the audio world starting YouTube channels, like especially more than ever, I think. Um, obviously there's but there's like some OGs like in the game and stuff. Cause I do see some comments like on bigger YouTubers um, channels, like especially like audio ones where like, like, oh, well, if you didn't have this YouTube channel, like, you know, you wouldn't have all this gear or whatever and all that, which, you know, to an extent, like I see what they're saying, but at the same time, I'm like, you can't hate on the grind. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. Like, I feel like the audio world is changing and I think more than ever, it's definitely necessary to, it's almost gonna, it's almost like having a Facebook, having an Instagram or having like a Twitter or something or X, whatever you want to call it. Um, I feel like it's super important now to have a YouTube channel as well, because I think that's like where the industry is going. And I feel like especially audio companies, um, it's a way for them to get their new products, current products or any products like in front of a bigger audience. You know, there was like a, a, a year or two where I was just like, man, like, you know, I'm still fucking grinding. I'm still like, you know, working studio hours, like, you know, working all night, like, for, like I'm getting to work on stuff that I love. I got to meet and get to meet like a lot of artists that I look up to and like have always listened to and stuff like that. That stuff's great. But, you know, if you're uh, if you're still grinding and you're still recording, you know, it's definitely not like it's still like fun to do. And it's I'm not complaining at all, but it's definitely not like I'm making enough where I can just be like, all right, I'm going to go buy a, van a manly Veramu today. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that was something that was hard for me to um, realize with the people on YouTube that were getting like all this gear and then like getting like Neve consoles and SSL bus pluses and all this stuff basically. And it's just like, it just seems like just because they had a huge following on YouTube, like they were not grinding as hard as I was or whatever you know what I'm saying like what's the difference like why do they get to get that gear versus me even though like I'm actually in the studio and not to say like those people aren't actually recording like there's definitely some people where I'm a little skeptical I'm like are you actually like in the industry or are you just like a gearhead which is totally fine um there's nothing wrong with that but you know then there are people that um are genuinely like recording and stuff and um yeah, just, you know, there's some people that I know for sure that are, like, actually recording and stuff. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to, like, call anybody out or anything. I'm just saying, like, that's just, like, the thought that I had in my head. I was just, like, what's so special about them? They're not even doing, and like, they're not grinding as much as I am, basically. Um, but then it took me a while to, like, realize that it's, like, all about your brand. Um, if you want to, like, elevate yourself personally, then these are the kind of things you need to do. And like I said, I think... And, you know, I think we all know this, like the industry is changing for sure. Like it's all about branding. It's all about, um, you know, what if you want to work, if you want to work with a company and you want them to send you shit or like, you know, put you on their website as like an official artist or official user of their product, like 
they're going to be like, all right, we can do that for you, but what can you do for me? And like, I feel like, you know, this is the way that's making those companies happy is like, well, I have a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so there's that I can at least maybe get you a few sales or get your product to a bigger audience that don't even know who you are. Um, but it took me like a really long time to realize that I remember asking somebody like, Oh, how do you, how did you get all this gear? And, or like, how did you get, you know, Avalon or something? Cause at the time it was like, this person has a lot of Avalon stuff. And he was like, yeah, well, it used to be different. Like dealers, you know, back in the early two thousands, the nineties and stuff would actually go to the studios and just drop off the gear and either never pick it back up basically, or, you know, just be like, yeah, here you can have it. Like we just need you, to, we'll sell it to you for super cheap, or we just want you to use it. Or we just want people to use our product, basically. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, that's just the gist of it. I don't know the, the full details, but basically that's what she said. That's what happened a lot. And um, now, obviously, you can't do that anymore. Things are more expensive as far as, like, gear goes and plugins go. Especially plugins have taken the place of gear. Like, not to say nobody buys gear anymore. Plenty of people are still buying gear, but um, there are a lot of, you know, home studios and stuff or people that have never touched gear but only know the plugins and they're like why would I buy gear when the plugins sound good which I'm on the same boat too um you know don't get me wrong if I get some money like there's some there's some pieces of gear that I would like to have that I've never had just to use it for a little bit um but the point is is that things are different now so now if you have an audience if you have a YouTube channel if you have a good setup decent editing you can still be recording on your iPhone like I am um, I think all that matters is that you genuinely are trying to get these companies products, um, you know, in front of other people and stuff. And, you know, to be realistic, like, obviously, you can, you know, for a fact, even as the viewer is like, okay, I know you're just doing it because you got it sent for free or because you're getting paid for it. I think that's like the whole thing is that like, if you can get past that stubborn mindset of like, oh, well, whatever this person's getting paid. Well, it's like, yeah, I mean, that's like the whole point. I mean, you can't, not as many people are recording at big studios anymore. It's harder to get into them. Um, you know, maybe you get an internship and then that's it. They don't offer you any job or anything. So there's really no other way to make money unless you're like the top, you know, 1% that's actually working on big records consistently or you live just in an area where it's more popular like I'm in Chicago it's pretty good here um but it's not like I'm not living off of it like meaning like I'm not booked every day probably could be but I choose um just not to be but the point is is that there really isn't like that much money into just specifically recording maybe if you're mixing all the time um, and you're charging a good amount, you can justify it, then yeah, that may, you probably are making good living. But basically, there's no other real way of making any money. So it's like, this is, monetization is like a way of making money, whether it's on Instagram. I mean, there's people that are killing it exclusively on Instagram and are just now starting a YouTube channel. Like there's like a person that has a huge following on Instagram. And then I just saw that they just finally made a YouTube channel. So, you know what I'm saying? I think like, I think having a YouTube channel is for audio um, is a must. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I think it's just going to be like having an Instagram. It's like your portfolio, basically. Like, you know, maybe it's something that you use when you do want to work with a company. You're like, hey, I have these many followers. I have these many subscribers. Um, you know, my videos do very well, whatever the case is. I just think that's like the way things are going. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. I think in a way the ball's in our court now, you know what I'm saying? Because then if we do have a big enough following enough subscribers or whatever, like you get to pick and choose what, where you want to put yourself, um, with the brand or like what you want to represent, you know what I'm saying? Um, which is good because then you have control over your own money. You have control over, yeah, who you choose and, you know, maybe down the line you get to pick, like, what specific company, like, I only work with this company exclusively, you know what I'm saying, or these companies. I don't know. I'm I'm still working on it. I'm almost at a 1,000 subscribers, you know. Yeah, I mean, what are your thoughts? Like, do you think that the, the direction, like, audio is going as far as, like, this realm of the audio world? Like, do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Or do you think that um, it's time for you to start a YouTube channel? Or are you starting one? Like, you know, let me know in the comments if you've started one or not. And then, like I said, let me know if you like this style of video. Um, like I said, I have like a thousand people that return, but don't subscribe. So don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching my videos and um, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.